Adam Schiff had a really important line of questioning today for Merrick Garland, the attorney general who appeared before the House Judiciary Committee. The line of questioning focused on integrity, integrity of the Oval Office, integrity of the Department of Justice, and the integrity of our democracy. Welcome, Mr. Attorney General, and thank you for leading the department with such integrity. We meet today at a momentous time in our history. The country is about to go through a great trial. By this, I do not mean any of the several trials of the former president, but rather a trial of the proposition that we are a nation of laws, committed to the rule of law, and that no one is above the law. It is a proposition well known around the world because it is the one essential ingredient in all democracies. We have all professed our belief in this principle, but it has never been truly tested, not like it is today. In this committee, we are engaged in a portion of that trial. The chairman would abuse the power of this committee by trying to interfere in the prosecutions of Donald Trump, by trying to use the committee's power of subpoena to compel criminal discovery, in effect, making the committee a kind of criminal defense firm for the former president. In doing so, the chairman of this committee would establish a very different proposition. Through Mr. Jordan's actions, he would establish the principle that the rule of law should apply to almost everyone, just not the leader of his party. According to this alternate proposition, if you are the president of the United States and you lose your reelection, you can violate the law and constitution to try to stay in power. And if you are successful, well, then maybe you get to be president for life. And if you fail, there is no repercussion. This proposition is also well known to the world, and it is called dictatorship. Mr. Jordan hopes to camouflage his assault on the rule of law by falsely claiming that Donald Trump is the victim of unequal justice and Hunter Biden its beneficiary. It is a claim as transparently political as it is devoid of any factual basis. And it is cynical based on the belief that the American people cannot discern fact from fiction. But I am betting on America. History has shown that those who bet against her are rarely successful and more often they end up covered with shame. I believe in the rule of law and I thank you, Mr. Attorney General, for defending it. Let me now turn to some of the false claims asserted by the former president and some on this committee. Uh, on Sunday, the former president appeared uh, on a national news Sunday program and was asked about four indictments uh, and 91 counts facing him. His response was Biden indictments, excuse me, Biden political indictments. He said to the attorney general, he said to the attorney general, indict him. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, I want to give you a chance to respond. Was the president telling the truth or was he lying when he said, that President Biden told you to indict him? No, no one has told me uh, to indict, and in this case, the decision to indict was made by the special counsel. So that statement the president made on Sunday was false? I'm just, I'm just going to say again that uh, no one has told me uh, who should be indicted uh, in, uh, in, in, in any matter like this, and uh, the decision about indictment was made by Mr. Smith. Let me ask you this uh, question about the prosecution of Hunter Biden. Um, the prosecutor in that case, Mr. Weiss, was appointed not by Joe Biden, but he was appointed in the first instance by Donald Trump. Is that correct? That's correct. And he was continued in that position, was he not? He was continued in that position, yes. And Mr. Attorney General, can you imagine, can you imagine the hue and cry you would hear from my colleagues on the other side of the aisle if you had removed him from that position. Can you imagine the, the claims that you had removed a prosecutor who was diligently investigating Hunter Biden? Can you imagine the outrage they would have expressed? I can say that in, during my confirmation hearing, I discussed with many senators um, on, on, on that side of the aisle their uh, desire and actual insistence that uh, Mr. Weiss be continued to uh, um, uh, have responsibility for that matter. Um, and I promised and I said at my confirmation hearing that he would be permitted to stay and that I would not interfere. And Mr. Attorney General, that was exactly the right decision. That was the right decision 
to give the American people the confidence that, that even a prosecutor chosen by the former president would continue in the investigation into the son of the current president. That was exactly the right decision. Exactly the right decision. And, and my colleagues on the other side of the aisle would have been screaming if it were otherwise. Um, but their, their attack on you is completely devoid of fact, of principle, I, but I appreciate you doing the right thing for the Department of Justice and, more importantly, the right thing for the American people. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The chair. Adam Schiff there eloquently reminding us that we are still in a fight against the enemy who is within our gates, the Republican Party, who wants to do everything they can to prevent Donald Trump from being held accountable for violating the law to try to install himself as a dictator in our country on January 6th, when he and his mob attempted to overturn the election. Adam Schiff also brought up a Meet the Press interview where Donald Trump said, oh, Joe Biden ordered the investigations. He, he told Merrick Garland to do this, and Merrick Garland flat out denies that happened because Merrick Garland knows that his responsibility is to preserve and uphold the Justice Department and the idea of the rule of law. Donald Trump and these Republicans will project as much as they can because Donald Trump wanted political investigations of his opponents. And Republicans like Jim Jordan, who is the chair of the Judiciary Committee, issues subpoena after subpoena into Donald Trump's opponents. Meanwhile, he is approaching 500 days of defying a congressional subpoena for his role in the worst act of political violence our country has ever seen. Jim Jordan has no legs to stand on. This small, pathetic man is an enemy within our gates. Third, and lastly, the idea that Donald Trump has his greasy fingers all over these investigations, which under President Biden continued. Merrick Garland was appointed by President Biden, and he kept Andrew Weiss, which is a Trump-appointed prosecutor who was investigating Biden's family. He did that. Merrick Garland kept him because he knew that he, his oath was to the rule of law and the idea of one man one attorney general starting and stopping investigations for political purposes would destroy the Department of Justice. The idea of integrity is still an idea that we're fighting for, even today. And Adam Schiff's line of questioning here was eloquent, it was poignant, it was concise, and it's something that I think as many Americans should hear. If you agree, please like this video, please share it with your friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Brendan Plank. I make political videos pretty much on the daily basis. Uh, so if you're down to ride uh, and uh, share your reflections, please do so in the comments and be sure to follow along wherever you are watching. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.